Why is it that so many people in our society, especially the young, feel so disenfranchised and fail to engage in our democratic process? They don't engage because they feel nobody is listening. They feel powerless to affect the way their country is run and because traditional modes of political engagement make no sense to them. Instead, imagine a world with mass regular involvement in the democratic process, where anyone, not just politicians, could make and influence laws, where each country didn't just have two political chambers, but also a third virtual chamber, consisting of ordinary people voting on issues directly. For the first time in human history, we have the technology to make this a reality, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. My name is Harry Gwynn, and I am the founder of Third Chamber, an online direct democracy social network. Like Facebook, you have a profile, and like Twitter, you follow users and have a newsfeed. But unlike those sites, it is based around voting and aggregating collective opinion. It is a virtual political chamber where anyone, not just 650 MPs, can propose and vote on motions. This is the homepage of the site. It funnels what has been voted on into the public view, displaying the most popular motions, recent activity, what topics are trending, and allows you to vote on the performance of the government and see how this has evolved over time. You can move on to browse motions chronologically, by category, activity, and so on. On the motion pages, you can find out about the issues, see arguments for and against, comment and vote. Your votes are then recorded on your profile page. Events in the Middle East have shown us that social networks have a huge role to play in the politics of the future. Closer to home, we've seen 38 Degrees, Change.org and Arvaz engage millions, highlighting public opinion and helping to sculpt public policy. We want to take this one step further. Where Twitter gives you Mr. X says the West shouldn't intervene in Syria and Change.org gives you 100,000 people support a petition not to invade Syria, we will give you 85% of the people in the country, as voted by 100,000 people, do not support invading Syria. This represents a far more balanced, powerful and representative perspective than the existing social networks or petition sites. There are all sorts of issues that we face as a society, but in order to truly tackle them, we need to address the social structures that cause these issues in the first place. Democracy is the foremost way that we in the West sculpt the world around us, which is why an inclusive, engaging, vibrant democratic process is so utterly vital to us thriving as a society. What we are offering is a system that can channel our collective intelligence to address the problems we face in an inclusive and constructive manner appropriate for the 21st century. We think democracy means more than putting a tick in a box every five years. If you do too, then please join us.